very latest is. Now, a London charity which runs a refuge for women from overseas communities who've escaped domestic and honour-based violence is launching an appeal to try and create a new therapeutic garden. The Iranian and Kurdish women's rights organisation says evidence shows gardening can help play a role in the recovery process for those who suffered traumatic experiences. Well, Nazira Mamai is from the charity and joins us this lunchtime. Thank you for coming in. Um, we can't mention where this refuge is for, for safety reasons, but, but give us a sense of the women that you are helping there and, and what some may have gone through. Yes, um, let me just tell you a little bit about our charity. We are a women's organization, a charity who helps uh, women from Middle East and North Africa and Afghanistan who flee on a base violence, forced marriage, female genital mutilation and domestic violence. Um, they are a very dramatic uh, uh, situation they have and flee kind of very horrible uh, abuse from the uh, perpetrators, could be husband or um, family or anyone from the community as well. Uh, so we have an eight-bed um, refuge which helping them to uh, flee uh, the abuse, be safe there and helping them to settle in the um, UK and find a safe place for them to uh, settle and uh, have a safe life, basically. Um, so today we're launching an appeal to uh, uh, for a tropic uh, gardening for our refuge. Uh, luckily, we have in our refuge we have a. Um, private space which uh, at the moment there is nothing there so it's just uh, um, st stone and stuff so we are um, hoping to raise ten thousand pounds to uh, buy furniture plant and um, activities for the woman to empower them and uh, come out from the uh, anxiety and depression they have there uh, actually there is uh, evidence that uh, Gardening normally, I do myself a lot of gardening, so it's it's very helpful for the depression, for you know, c uh, come out to be relaxed and do something f uh, to uh, you know, um, come out from this um, very uh, abusing and the drama that they had actually before. So our women are uh, very um, fair for their life to go out, to use the um, park or uh, space outside. So uh, they feel very safe inside. And that's why we are trying to uh, raise this amount of money to um, give, them, give them this uh, opportunity to um, empower them, basically, to get them self-esteem and uh, um, start a new life. I imagine, sadly, with only eight beds, there are lots of women that you are unable to help because demand will be high. There will be lots more who, who need those kind of facilities. Yes, uh, because we actually um, uh, launched this um, uh, refuge last year, May, uh, and uh, I could say there is only refuge for Middle Eastern and North Africa's women who flee on a base violence, especially which very high risk, and they are um, the, the lot of demand is there. So we helping them. Uh, if we get more money, we are happy to uh, raise more money to uh, for the emer emergency who uh, women who flee the violence and to be a safe place rather than on the street or police station. Uh, and is there, uh, if he blocking? To, to support and want to be involved. Is there, is there somewhere where they can go to find out more information? Yes, there is our website. We do uh, www.icro, uh, which is ikwro.org.uk. We do have a Facebook and Twitter. Please follow us uh, on that and please help us to um, empower this woman, uh, get them a safe life and a new life from the abuse and uh, this uh, fair fair that they have for their life. Okay, well keep us posted on the process with the garden. We hope it, it, it turns into something which is used on a daily basis. Uh, Nazira Amari there from uh, the uh, Iranian and Kurdish Women's Rights Organization. Thank you for joining us. This Thank you very time. much. Uh, right, so we are taking a break. Stay with us still to come. Please do.